Hey guys, this is Garrett again. Hope y'all are having a great day. Um, today we are going to be going over if-else statements uh, and just basic if statements. Um, so, first I'd like to start off by mentioning something I have not in the other videos, and that is a wonderful page on Arduino. Uh, if you go to the Arduino page, click Learning Reference, it's going to open up this page of all the different uh, language objects that can be put into the program. So today we're going to be talking about if else. As you can see, there are tons of different sequence types uh, that you can use. The basic one is if else. Those, that's the one you'll be using the most uh, of all the others. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up an Arduino sketch. First, we're going to have to initialize some pins. Now, I didn't actually initialize a uh, read pin, or uh, a, an input pin, sorry, uh, last video, but I did mention, I believe, that, oh my gosh, uh, I, uh, sorry, uh, I did actually, I did mention that it's a possibility, so the uh, when I put this one up here, it's assuming digital one. The difference between digital and analog is that analog is only capable of uh, on or off reading. So when I am telling it that uh, the pin one is a input, it is going to read on or off, high or low. That's all it can read. So um, analog, you can hook it up to a potentiometer, a joystick, and it can actually tell how far the joystick is or how uh, turned the potentiometer is. Okay, so moving on, we're going to start with an if statement. If you've ever worked with any programming language, there has been some form of if statement in there. It's just the thing that checks something, and if it's true, does something else. So we're going to tell it that if the digital digital... <laughs> read of pin 1 is equal equal this brings up a good uh, point you need to be careful with your equal signs the uh, single equal sign sets something equal so later when we talk about variables we'll discuss that you can set things uh you can set a variable to a specific number uh if you use two equal signs it checks to see if something is equal i don't think it will matter on this because you cannot actually change digital read the pin is what it is it's not going to try to change the pin but uh if you are using a variable and you use a single equal sign, it's going to set it equal when you actually mean to check if it is equal. All right, so we're going to ask it whenever digital read of 1 is high. We're going to open up the squirrely brackets. This sets up a uh, another – it's a little bit like a loop. It doesn't keep going forever while it's true, but um, within these two parentheses, it will uh, – it's going to – do that if it's true. Um, so one thing to note is that kind of helpful if you click on the parentheses it shows its uh, counterpart. So there are a lot of parentheses in uh, Arduino and you start to lose track of them. Being uh, If you click it it'll show up the other one. Very helpful. Alright so we, if that's true we are going to do a digital right of 2 to high. Alright? Okay. So, what this program is going to do is it's going to initialize these pins and it's going to check to see if the pin mode is high. So, uh, let's say we have it hooked up to a button. If the button is not clicked, it's going to be low. So, it's going to check and it's going to see, oh, button's not clicked, we're not going to do anything, and it's going to check again, and it's going to check really fast. Once we click the button, it's going to say, oh, it's equal to high. We're going to go ahead and digital write to as high. One thing I'd like to note uh, that's kind of helpful is this little check in the corner. I should have mentioned this before, but this can check to see if your program is correct. So this is automatically done when you click upload, but sometimes it's better to tr not try and make it upload because uh, it can 
take a little while to try and upload larger programs. This simply checks to see if it is capable, if it's language correct. Now, it does not check to see if your program does what you want it to, sadly. I don't think Arduino is quite that smart yet, but it'll check things like, if I take that colon off, it's going to see that there's a break in the code. You see, it says, I expected you to pass on a uh, control to the next thing in the program. The program never looped because this was supposed to pass on control and it never did. So if I allow that, it's going to check and it's going to see, oh, there we go. You've passed on control. This is a viable program. All right. Now, this program, while viable, is not very helpful. Once this program, once I press the button, it's going to turn on the LED and it's going to forever be on because I never told it to turn off. Pin mode is uh, forever on. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another F statement in. It's going to now check if digital read of one is equal to low. And if that is the case, we are going to have it digital write to as low. There are actually better ways to do this program, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to stick with this. Uh, you can actually tell it to input the state of the last read and a bunch of other complicated things that we won't get into. Uh, you can't. You, you we're just showing you basic if statements. So. While this is better, it now can, when you're pressing the button, it will turn on. When you release the button, it will turn off. It's unnecessarily wordy. There are only two states our button can be in. It can be in off or on. So we want to tell it if it's not on, turn it off. That's where the if else statement comes in. So instead of if, we're going to put else. and We don't have to tell it what... Uh, what has to be true. We just have to tell it if that's not true, then digital write to is low. So it's going to check and see if digital read of one is high. And if it is high, then it's going to write to is high. If it's not high, or since it's a digital pin and can only be off or on, if it's low, it's going to write to is low. So this program would be used to uh, turn off and on an LED, uh, but you will use if-else statements. Uh, at, they're kind of the backbone of Arduino programming, as they are with most programming. All right, well, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.